All right, hello everybody. We are live with the very last, um, I'm waiting till it shows up, but very last indigenous romance read along thing. Uh, just gonna give it a minute to show up on YouTube. And then we'll, we'll chat. Awesome. Okay, I see it. Okay, here we are. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. It's our very last month. I can't believe it's already our last month, actually. I know. I was like, I'm so sad. It's ending. I know. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to. There will there will be there will be more things. Hey Beth. Hi. How's it going? Um, okay, so yeah, last month we read Abandon. I have my the, phone here. Yeah, the author is um, from Australia. And this was an interesting book. We were just talking about it before we came on here. So uh, so thoughts. I feel like there's there's a lot to say about this, but it was a it was a train wreck and you just you said watch. <laughs> I guess I, I didn't feel quite as negatively about it, but, um, oh, maybe, I mean, I don't know about like six months of it necessarily, like depending, but yeah, I mean, we I definitely would be, have those sequels that we, we have sequels, do. um, and we found a new author. So yeah, I mean, like I would, I would be up for like doing a, doing it periodically. I would too. Fun. Yeah. Maybe we could actually like get through some of the series we started. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be fun. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll do some more installments. But yeah, I okay. So I guess the first thing is I was not expecting this to them to be in high school based on the cover. <laughs> like it looks like it's gonna be this like super steamy paranormal. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It gave me a lot of Twilight vibes, like. I would not be shocked if this started it's like began its life as sort of twilight fan fiction wanting her to be with jacob yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> like i just i felt like it was interrupting something half the time i was like I'm gonna... <laughs> i'll be in the kitchen <laughs> yeah they're seniors in high school and um, it was awkward. it was a little awkward. Like it was like yeah. it it's it's good <laughs> mm -hmm. if that's if like paranormal romance is what you want to read. But other than that, it was just kind of like I feel like I felt like I was interrupting something. There was just a, I'm like I'm too old for this. Yeah, no, I I get that. I mean, I feel like with this, it was something where I was like I would have eaten this up as a teenager. So I tried to when I was reading it. I tried to do it sort of like from the mindset of who the audience for it should be, you know, um, there is, uh, it, it's like, it's interesting because it's like steamy ish, but like they don't actually sleep together until near the end of the book. And then it's like vaguely described. It's not that explicit. It's very intimate. Yes. Yes. Like you get a lot of the, the, the heated chemistry vibes throughout the book, I guess, is a steam lot of- Steam without the steam. Yeah, a lot of desire and longing and kissing, <laughs> it's basically. A lot of kissing. A lot of kissing, yeah. Um, but yeah, I probably would have loved this as a teenager. <laughs> so, it was it was interesting. She had a rough backstory. Yeah, it was very like just slam right yeah. there. It, it was intense. I wasn't expecting it because like with her, her sister being a drug, drug addict and violent and she's taking care of her baby sister. Like I, it was, it was intense. Um, I was not expecting this book to be what it was. Yeah. It was like the beginning really hooks you because you're like, wait, yeah. what's going on? And then yeah. you find out and you're like, oh. Yeah. 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 And then I had, like, I had mixed feelings ultimately because it's kind of like, they're kind of like mated, um, which is normal in paranormal romance. But 
I had sort of mixed feelings about Dakota because there was a lot he didn't tell her before it all happened. Um, like that she was going to have to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I, I read the, the part at the end where she was like, yeah, my body was not capable of this, and but now I'm a wolf. And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. So she had to go through like, because I know you kind of skipped over a little bit near the end. So a lot of that was like her being changed <laughs> into a werewolf and like drama with his, the, his betrothed showing up. Because remember at the beginning of the book, he was like, betrothed to another werewolf girl so she shows up and like he kind of it it reminded me a lot of twilight this moment where like he still wants to be with her but he's trying to protect her so he like ignores her for months to like make the other girl happy while she's there even though he doesn't actually want to be with the other girl and she's like devastated <laughs> it was very it was very like condensed twilight vibes um yeah i amazing. just i yeah i felt so uncomfortable because they got so close so fast and i'm like is he trying to like justify cheating uh because i mean that's well how I feel, that's why i feel like it kind of is because i mean when you're betrothed to somebody and then you're like right for somebody else it's like that's whether or not you want to marry that person that's not fair to the other yeah. person I mean, it, there are extenuating circumstances, which they explain later on, is that they were betrothed by their, like, grandparents when they were babies. Oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, it's not totally, like... They aren't, but they are, but they yeah. aren't. Yeah, like, they're supposed to be... They've grown up knowing that they're supposed to get married for political reasons, like, to have an alliance between their families. And, like, it's a forbidden love thing, because, like, he wasn't supposed to... Uh, fall for anybody else because like his oh. dad because his dad couldn't mate with someone like couldn't have what there's the special bond that creates like his dad couldn't do ever do that mm -hmm. and so they just assumed that he wouldn't be able to either and so they made the arranged marriage pact but then of course he did with her so it's like a it's a little more complicated <laughs> I know you missed like that ch that chunk. There was a lot that happened in that like second. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, one yeah. second. I gotta. Yeah. Um, did anybody watching read it? I'm curious. I don't know if people are just like tuning in to hear what we said, but I'm curious. I'm I'm interested if anybody else read it and what their thoughts were. I really wasn't. Like, based on the cover, I was expecting this more to be kind of a fun, steamy adult paranormal romance, not like a YA kind of Twilight fanfic-ish type thing, which is interesting. Um, so, yeah, if anybody read it, let me know. Uh, yeah. Oh, one other thing that I thought was interesting is towards the end, because one of the big things is to undergo the final change into a werewolf. She has to die. It was total. I mean, you. This yeah. is totally Twilight fanfic. <laughs> like it must have been. I feel like. I think I highlighted that part where he was like, "Yeah, you have to die," but you know, it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, it's like how to be a vampire. Bella had to die. Like this is hundred percent like. Like, I wish she was with Jacob instead. So, like, that's totally what it reads like, which is kind of funny. Uh, and there's a scene where she does, I think, where, like, she kind of, like, dives into the ocean. Which is, again, like, Bella Cliff jumping. Like, there were so many, like, little things in here that I was like, oh, my God, this is, this is. Melodramatic. Very melodramatic, yes. Tuning in to hear about it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, it was, it was not what I expected it to be. It was very interesting. Yeah. I mean, the cover, cause like, I mean, it's a very sexy cover for something about teenagers. teenagers. And it is a little weird reading that as an adult. <laughs> like I said, I felt like I was interrupting something. I was just like, um, <laughs> a lot of nose touching. I'm like. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, so the breath, the breathing thing is like magical. That's yeah. part of what turns her into a werewolf. I would have, I would have really <laughs> liked it had the had the author like fleshed out some of the elements of like the magic and the like the story. Like I would one thousand percent read a story where a knight and a like a maiden fall in love. One thousand percent would have read something like that instead of like this condensed little like oh yeah this happened and then meh. yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I also think that like a lot of the explain explanation we got pretty late in the game, um, in terms of like what was actually happening and the magic and like a lot of it you don't really know until later. Um, and I just I also didn't find Sam changing to be believable. Um, for anybody who didn't read it, her it's her cousin who was her legal guardian. And uh, she, like, we basically, we find out that the heroine's baby sister, who she'd been taking care of, isn't actually her sister. It's her cousin. And her cousin is the mom of the kid. And we find that out because the kid almost dies in a car accident, which is pretty intense. Like, it's, well, there's some, like, intense stuff and, like, abuse, home, like, domestic abuse stuff. Not with the hero, with, like, the cousin going on in here. Um, but then after the kid almost dies, like Sam changes her life around and her like deadbeat boyfriend decides to move in with her and become a dad. And now they're this like happy family so that, you know, what's her name can go off with the werewolf. And I'm like, ah, really though? Like, I don't, that was very quick. <laughs> they kind of like swept it underneath like yeah. so fast because this whole time they're getting so close. And I was like, what's going to happen to Emerson? Like. Sam Me is too. a terrible person. Yes. And then it was just like, oh, they're then finding out they're a perfect happy family. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. Was this supposed to be like the ending? That, like. Well, especially because Sam had no redeeming qualities before that. You know, like I think it would have been better if she was more of a mixed character. Like she had bad moments and good moments. I feel like I would have found that more believable, but she was just. Awful. horrible awful all the time like she literally like beat, her, <laughs> beat up the main character to get fifty dollars yeah yeah so like how is it that she like the kid almost dies and then she decides oh yeah i'm gonna be a good person now yeah she's just horrible and vindictive and like yeah i don't i i struggle with that i feel like sam needed to be a less horrible person to find especially with like the like the slut shaming like there was so much slut shaming and um, yeah. like toxic femininity and just like mean girls mean, being mean girls. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's very like teen melodrama, like messy, soapy, which I mean, I guess that's the thing. Like if, if you, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I mean, if that's book, what you want to read, I, just, I don't know. It just kind of like solidified for me that yeah. I'm like, I'm paranormal romance might not be my thing. I wouldn't use this as a a great indicator of whether it's <laughs> whether it's your thing. I yeah, I maybe sometime I'll like should like give you recommendations of a couple things to try that might be uh yeah yeah. I, yeah, it was, I mean, this, this, this isn't, I, I think this falls into a specific kind of paranormal romance, and I don't think all of it is like this. You should try the Psy Changeling series. Okay. Yeah. I think that would be, it's great. <laughs> I just like push it on everybody, but um, A Slave to Sensation is the first book by Nalini Singh. They're old, but older, but they hold up really well, and she's still publishing books in the series, and they're like they're great. And actually, Nalini Singh is also, I think, Australian or from New Zealand, so from a similar part of the world. I think that would be a good. That sounds good. Yeah. Yes, she's great. She's really good. Uh, and she was doing casually diverse casts of characters before anybody else was talking about doing it, you know, back in the early 2000s. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, for me, it was like, 
some of the some of the writing was certainly like a choice like mm -hmm. um i have this one where it's like wow this guy is oh h o double t t hot and i was like oh no i'm in middle school again <laughs> i mean it's very it's very high school like teen like I, yeah it just it wasn't what i was hoping it was gonna be but like i think I just, part of my issue is that I don't think the marketing is good because it's marketing itself as if it's for an adult audience. And I just don't think it is. So, yeah. Yeah, it was not, it was not great. Um, and then, um, yeah, there was that. And um, talking about his perfect abs, all I have is just like the barf emojis for every time she talks about his abs i was like i can't i can't do this oh my god like i liked the use of color but then but then when when he first like uh like almost wolfs out i'm like wait what is happening and then he's he just like casually explains and she's like oh yeah it's just you know a, it's just a folklore right and he's like no no it's not and then he takes her out into the whatever and i'm mm -hmm. like so you're not gonna have any of your friends like to supervise to make sure you don't you know eat her alive or right anything. i mean like why were you so worried about it earlier and now you're like oh it's fine now <laughs> like we'll just go <laughs> yeah I mean, and then he of, just and yeah. then he just changes and she's like oh my god i didn't mm -hmm. realize you were telling the truth yes it, does, yeah. it doesn't make sense yeah yeah. And it was there was like a lot of info dumping too. I think that's kind of like what took me out because I was like, this is a lot of information for this. Yeah, I mean, uh, fair. Yes, werewolf romance books. Um, yeah, I was probably like, I mean, I feel bad too because it was like she's an indie author, so I probably was more generous <laughs> on Goodreads. I was like, uh, three stars. And, but yeah, I mean, I think everything you're saying is valid. I, I like, I feel like there's an audience for this. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't think it's maybe a very effectively marketed, but that's the thing is if, if you want something that clearly started its life as a like team Jacob twilight fanfic, Abandoned yeah, is, it's, it's is going to be your jam. Not, it's yeah. just not for me. Fair. Which, yeah. <laughs> I just got a kick out of like all the moments that were, um, that, that were clearly like inspired by moments in the Twilight series where I was like, oh, oh, I see what you're doing. Because it's like in a small town and there's a forest clearing and there's a beach and... Mm -hmm. um something about like cops and stuff and I'm yeah like, where's yep. charlie then i know right well and then there's well and actually i guess i think because the, there's another book in the series following one of her friends and i don't it might be the the, the friend whose dad is a police officer <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Because <laughs> one of her her dad's friends is like the 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 police chief or something for the town, and I think she, I'm not totally sure, but like I think she might be the main character in book two in the series, which is kind of funny. And then there's like the scene of cliff jumping, right? Um, which is just like it's just it's Dean funny. and uh, Park Parker. Yeah. Yep. interesting yep i also like had mixed feelings about uh how she like she sees what's his name cheating like she's at the party right and there's ray baby or whatever who's hooking up with her boyfriend's twin and she sees this and never tells him that his twin brother was like cheating with his girlfriend. And I was like, dude, I don't like you should I tell him. I had, had a problem. Like I was, I was, 
I was hard like to keep up with everybody with because there were so many characters that were introduced like so fast and I was like yeah. Wait, what's happening who is this mm-hmm. I'm just gonna focus on it like this person yeah I mean that's fair there were there was quite the friend group um but yeah that that kind of bothered me I was like like you like like yeah and they the I don't know <laughs> It was, it was gross. I was just, I, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Also this whole, like, it, at the very end when she was talking about, and she's like, it's like doing the walk of shame, but I've never done that before. And I'm like, you don't know what the walk of shame is. No. 18. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least they were 18 before they actually slept together. That was funny. Yes, Christmas polar bear. Okay, I know Beth. It's on my it's on my Kindle. One of these days I'm gonna read it. Um I know you really liked that one. Yeah, I I don't know. Was, that was also weird to me where he was like, now that you're 18, <laughs> do you wanna you're maybe do you wanna have sex? <laughs> She's like, I would have said yes if he'd asked me months ago. <laughs> How are you not having conversations about this? Like, I don't know. Okay, whatever. But I mean, I, yeah. And they got together so fast. They did. So Mm -hmm. fast. Because this is like two months. But I mean, it's like what? Like a, a, I don't know, four month relationship, something like that. Yeah. It was pretty quick. It definitely was. Yep. It was, um. It was interesting. Oh, and then um, the, what color are my wolf eyes? Lightning blue, he says with reverence. And I wrote lightning blue, dot, 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 bar face, bar face, basic. Because <laughs> she did, they just had a thing with eyes in this thing. I know. It's like she went from being like white blonde hair with gray eyes to white blonde hair with blue eyes. <laughs> Look, oh, good. Okay. Uh, yeah that'd be that's interesting yeah yeah it was um it was it was an interesting interesting book yeah i think like this is part of the thing too is it's so hard to even just like find romance by indigenous authors like in the first place um yeah. It's so it's so difficult also to like just not even that they're indigenous but like having di- di- differentiating between like being actually indigenous and like having indigenous ancestry because that means that's two very different things. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, this is this would be fun. Do you want to do? That? Oh. <laughs> I feel we can like we do could that do this. Right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let me pull up somewhere on my Instagram. I have all of the books. I don't think this was my favorite. No. <laughs> I like we have, we have love some... better than this. You you liked what? Oh, her I land. Like oh, land yeah. Love better than this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've read six books. Ooh. How they're so different. Like all of the books we read are so are so different from each other. Uh I should look at my Goodreads and see like what I actually rated things. If Goodreads is working now earlier, it was like, no, we're not gonna work for you. Let's see. That's might work on the app though. So. Oh, it's up. Okay, cool. Uh here. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Beth is saying I'm seeing some recommendations for Maggie Blackbird. Yeah, we read one from her. She was great. That's I, my favorite. It was my favorite one. Was it? Yeah. I love I love that. Okay. I don't know that it was my highest rated, but I think I think it was my favorite in terms of the discussion. 
Like it was, yeah. I think it was the best one for book club. Um, what were my, like, what did I rate everything? I mean, a lot of the early ones were pretty, hold on. Let me see. It go for me, it goes sanctified, seducing his secret wife, uh -huh. hearts unbroken, heartbeat braves, her land, her love, and then awaken at, or what is that? Yeah, abandon at the very last for me. Okay. Okay. I'm like trying to remember like what I actually. But I don't remember my ratings. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I feel like my ratings, so Hearts Unbroken was my highest rated of all of these, but um, I don't know. I think I did really like Hearts Unbroken though. How would I rate these? I feel like Probably Hearts Unbroken, Sanctified, and then, I mean, it's really a toss-up for me between um, Harpy Braves and Seducing His Secret Wife. Like, I, I, I liked them both, like, about equally, maybe Harpy Braves a little more. Uh, and then Her Land, Her Love, oh, that one was rough to get through, and then Abandon, I feel like. Yeah, both of those two were like more of a challenge, I think. So, yes. Yeah, they were both, Hearts Unbroken and Heartbeat Braves were both good. Anybody in the comments, let us know what your favorites were. I think um, there's like something flying around in here. <laughs> like, oh, geez. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I feel like the Maggie Blackbird book was the steamiest by far. <laughs> oh, and for me, it was also the most enjoyable, like, mm. in terms of, like, an actual relationship. Yeah. Because they did have, like, a lot of discussion yeah. and, um, like, good communication. Mm hmm I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And for, and for I, me, I would like, agree. for what I've seen, like, that's just so rare in relation, like, native relationships. Cause, like, I, I, I haven't seen that many native relationships where they actually have good communication and, like, loving communication. And it's just, like, yeah. It, I think it's great. No, I, I would probably agree with you. Um, I gave it four stars, but like, I agree. I think it was just really, as a romance, it was probably the most satisfying. Um, I think it was, it was really good. Yeah. And you definitely see them come together and work through issues and yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I would agree. Like as a romance, I think that was probably the best. I think seducing his secret wife is nice because it's like a quick little Harlequin category romance and it was good and it was enjoyable. Like I, I thought that was a very good version of what it was trying to be. Um, yeah. And yeah, Heartbeat Braves just did a lot of stuff. Like not just like the romance I part of it I liked, but it also just had a lot of interesting other things that it was talking about. It had good side characters. <laughs> Yeah, I liked the characters um, in that one too. Yeah. Hearts Unbroken is great. I think it's like what's good about it is less the romance part of it, I guess. Um, like the romance is fine. Like I, I liked the romance part, but I think it's really a coming of age story. And I, I think it's very, it's very good at, at that. Would we consider doing other genres? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think I think part of the motivation for this was to try to find things that were more joyful representations of um, indigenous people. Yeah, I mean, like I would too, but like I've been just kind of taking a break from 
the trauma because there's just been so much happening this year yeah with the residential schools and line three and um i've just been seeing a lot of parts of booktube that have just been actively like completely ignoring what we're trying to say what we're trying to do and like i still see people like promoting books that are like harmful and it's so frustrating especially when i see like really big book to like big, like favorites yeah uh, that are just like blindly p- promoting these things and i'm like yeah if i say something then i'm gonna get yelled at but like it's it's a tricky thing it's frustrating yeah sure. Yeah, no, I mean, it seems like I think it's been a lot this year, especially. And I think uh, last month, Her Land, Her Love was like, it was so traumatic. Like, I mean, it was beautiful, but like, oh my gosh, it was rough. It was was emotionally draining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. 100%. Um, Yeah. I, I... I'm excited. I have like plans to read this other author that we talked about in the last live show, uh, who kind of like found me through this project (laughs) because I made a, like a list on Goodreads, um, of books from the authors we found, like, cause you know, you can make lists. So I made like a indigenous romance by indigenous authors list and she found the list and was like, Hey, like I'm in, I'm indigenous and like, I'm writing this romance. Like, (laughs) so I was like, Oh, cool. cool. It was really, yeah. I remember you telling me about that last month. Yeah. It was cool. So yeah. And like, I would like to do follow-ups on some of these series for sure. Um, yeah, because I did buy that one by Rob, Robin Covington. Yeah, there's the I have entirety it too. of like Harpy Braves. I bought book that. two. I have book two in that series, the Harpy Brave series, and I bought the the first Robin Covington book. And I I would like I would read more from Maggie Blackbird too. I'm interested in. I want to read um, about Emery and Daryl. Yeah, me like, too. Like, they just seemed really sweet. I love them. They were so sweet, yeah. And I want to find out what happens to Raven and... Uh, I know, I know. Because it was kind of a cliffhanger. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm bad with names. I'm really bad with character names. Jude. Jude, yeah. 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 I was like, oh, what happens? And it's like, it's continued in book four. I'm like, what do you mean it's continued in book four? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like those are the three that I would continue reading from um, in terms of actual romance. I don't think I can handle reading more in her the Hurley and Her Love series. I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's too, it's too much. It's hard. Um, yeah. And I like there is another book in this series. I don't think it's for me, but like if this is your thing that if is there. you read that and that was your jam that was your diggitydawn.com you go for it <laughs> like more power to you because i'm yeah. just glad i only spent like yeah. five dollars on this i would have been so sad if i'd spent more than that fair <laughs> but i mean at least we're like supporting the author like i mean i guess the, like, i don't feel bad about it either because i'm like i'm supporting an indigenous indie author who like I like so it's you know it's fine but yeah fair yeah like it didn't it didn't hurt me I was just more so like I feel like I'm interrupting something I feel like I'm standing in the room awkwardly while they do this and I'm just standing there watching and I'm like I feel old and uncomfortable and I don't want to be here <laughs> Like, good for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel like I wasn't as uncomfortable with it, but I was kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to skim past, like, whatever's happening here. And, like, good for you. Like, I'm glad, I'm glad there are, like, sex positive books for teenagers. (laughs) Like, I don't know. I just, like, it, it's not mar- really marketed as YA, and I feel like it should be. 
which is hard because I get it. You're an indie author. There's less of a market for YA romance. Like there just isn't for in, an indie published. So I understand it. I just feel like this would have been more, for me, this would have been more successful if she'd put them in college or something. But then yeah. you would have to change, like, yeah. And I wish that some of the um, the things involving, like, um, the culture and, like, the, like, wolf stuff, because some mm-hmm. of it felt just a little too, like, um, like, Native American indigenous rather yes. than, like, Australian indigenous. Huh. So, so I was just kind of like, what are That's you doing? Interesting. It's interesting because to me, it read as like Irish. I could see that. Yeah. Like, I haven't read like, a lot of like Irish folklore or anything like yeah. that, but like I could see that. Or like, like it, or yeah, I don't know, like something about like the names they were using and like the the family structures and stuff. It read to me more as like European almost, which was interesting for the like the werewolf families and I don't know, but cause they, cause they're like royalty. Yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting. I'm like, I have a hard time believing that they're just chilling, hanging out in Australia. Yeah. I like mean, no that kind of notoriety yeah. or fame or anything like that. Yeah, I guess that's the thing is like, I didn't worry too much about that because I feel like this wasn't trying to really give a realistic explanation for all of it. Like it was, it was like the author's from Australia and I think she wanted to do Twilight fanfic where it's about Jacob, forget Edward, which I get, like I would have been, like I said, because when I, you know, when I was like in my whatever, like 20-ish and I read that series for the first time, I was like, yeah, Jacob, even before the movies, I was like, team Jacob, so I would have been all over this. Same, I would have so, assumed. Yeah, I just feel like I'm too old for it now. So. I agree. There was this one that I read when I first, when I first started reading YA, like YA, and it mm-hmm. was a paranormal and then I read it I think it was like last year I read it and I'm like oh my god that this guy's supposed to be some like strong wolfy guy and he's actually just like a total goober I'm, I just uh, it was it was a whole different thing and I'm like this is not for me <laughs> you need to try slave to sensation I'll I'll talk to you more about it later but like you I think I, I feel like you you might be really into it that sounds like a plan yeah yeah um but yeah i feel like this was good and i found some authors i had not read from before that i'll keep reading from which same is cool i mean all in all i had fun like this was the funnest thing i've ever done (laughs) i'm glad i'm like i'm glad you were up for it because it's it's been a fun project and like i'm hoping other people also pick up some of the books and um yeah, like get some attention to some authors that are less well known. Yeah, because yeah. some of those you'll definitely be able to read during Indigathon too. So. Oh yeah, when is that? Uh, when is Indigathon? Indigathon is in between November first and the thirtieth. Coming up, guys. So, if you didn't get a chance to read some of the books now, you can in like two months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you could start now and then continue with the series in November and that'd be fun. You know what? We could, uh, I don't know if you wanted to, we could do like bon- like periodic bonus things and we could do one in November. I would love that. Yeah. That sounds like great. we could pick like a group read for it. Okay. Maybe like either, one of the other books in one of the series we want to continue, I think would be maybe good. So I guess let me know what you want to, which of them you want to do and we can. Maybe we should do a poll. Oh, oh, you know what? I think I maybe can do that in a live stream. I've never done it before. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think I, oh, I can, I can do a poll. Okay. All right, guys, here's what we're doing. I'm going to create a poll. This is exciting. I've never done this on a live stream before. Okay. So, which series should we continue? 
Uh, so we're gonna have the Robin Covington series, which is the like Harlequin, which actually we'd go back and read book one. Um, the, who's the, the author of the Heartbeat Braves? Um, Pamela Sanderson. Pamela Sanderson. Yes, thank you. The Pamela, so we could read book two in the Heartbeat Brave series by Pamela Sanderson. Or we could continue, we could read one of the other books in. Probably in book one yeah. since it's a series. Oh, yeah, we could do that The in the Maggie Blackbird series. Okay. Vote. <laughs> ha! That was. <laughs> That was exciting. And Did it go. show up? I'm like, hopefully it actually shows up. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, oh, it just showed up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ha! This is so cool. All right, guys, Huzzah. you can vote on um, which one you want to do. This is cool. Man, I have never done this before. Very fun. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we have so far Pamela Sanderson has a vote. I don't know if other people are going to uh oh we got some Maggie Blackbird in there. I mean I, I'd be happy to read any of these, so we'll see. We'll give it a few minutes and see who wins. I was gonna that say, was can we vote ourselves? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, who who do I want to vote for? Hmm. That's so tricky. Uh, oh, I can't vote. Oh. Because it's probably because it's my poll. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. But you can. So that's cool. Oh, I love it. The now more we, we get to pressure. see Michelle, the better. Yeah. Well, Michelle will also be on my channel for the Lord of the Rings read of long. So, yay. You will see more of her. That'll I'm be so fun. excited. Black Sun is great, Beth. Thank Read you. Black Sun. It's fantastic. Mackie book, what? That is true. Good point. Good point. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. So far, Pamela. But I feel like the Pamela Sanderson ones, like, they're kind of standalone-ish. Like, you could, it's a, it's all different couples. So I feel like you could kind of jump like in a, there. It's like a, it's like a, like a brown sisters thing where it follows different characters, characters rather than the. Yeah one main part of it exactly yeah but if we do Ma if, if we did maggie blackbird we do the first one robin covington we do the first book in the series and uh yeah i don't know how long how long to give it oh more people are voting we'll see like i don't know it's <laughs> we're very split but pamela sanderson is in the lead so far with 50 percent of the vote <laughs> <laughs> um, I will, I'll give it a few more minutes. Anything else we wanted to talk about with this? Um, not the book itself, but <laughs> like I said, I had a lot of fun with this because I yeah. I've read things that I wouldn't normally have read and um, that's really cool and like learned a lot about other indigenous peoples too so yeah yeah no i'm glad too because i think part of this for me was i hadn't really prioritized reading indigenous authors in the past and it was something i wanted to get better about and i think this has been great and i've i've learned a lot through the process also um it's been really good i'm glad we did it <coughs> so yeah i think it would be fun to periodically come back and do like do another round of indigenous romance read along maybe not like every single month but just like you know maybe we could do a february live show for like around valentine's, valentine's day. day i love <laughs> valentine's day valentine's day yeah. is my favorite holiday yeah aside from uh, birthdays i mean i think christmas is my favorite but valentine's day is fun Candy. I know some people hate it. I also like it, Halloween. But... Halloween's yes. one of my favorites. Yeah, I like Halloween too. I think my least favorite is Easter, just because, like, I feel like it's uh, it just goes by so fast. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, oh man, it's super close. It's like Pamela Sanderson at 43%, Robin Covington and Maggie Blackbird are tied at 29%. <laughs> If, it, if anything, we can also do like an Instagram poll or a Twitter poll too. It's true. Um, what? Okay. We can. I mean, we can we can go with whatever. I'm okay with. I'm okay with going with this. We'll have we'll have other ones in the future, guys. We'll do we'll do more more rounds of it. Um, We'll just be like, surprise, <laughs> we're doing more. <laughs> All right. I think it's been up for five minutes. Seven people have voted. Uh, All right. Should I call it or like give people another minute to vote? Maybe give it another minute. All right, guys, you have one more minute to vote. And then I'm, I'm going to call the end of the poll. So if you have not yet cast your vote, please do so now. Please do so now. <laughs> exactly. Whew, man, six months of this. Like it's been it has been a like quite a six months. It's, it's the time in, in the world. Yeah. And we're gonna see each other in person soon, which is wild. In literally a week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're right. In a week. Oh man. Well, oh. technically a week in like a technically eight days because I'm coming in on Thursday. And you're right. And I'm Friday. coming in on Friday. Yeah. So eight days will be close enough. I'm excited. I I'm like too. I'm I'm nervous because I know cases in Florida are like spiking. So I'm like I will have all the hand sanitizer and masks and like. <laughs> I literally, uh, my friend gave me a baby Yoda. Oh, that's so cute. I think we have one of those too. They're adorable. I love that. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're ending the poll. This is it. Pamela Sanderson wins. Uh, awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, we will read for November during Indigathon. If you want to add it to your Indigathon TBR. We will do the second book in the Pamela Sanderson series, which is, I will tell you in a moment, I can find Goodreads. <laughs> I bought, I did buy it. So that's cool. Actually read something I bought. I do, I do read things I buy. Just <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while. Um, I read things that I buy too, just not all the time. Yes. And there are always those things that like languish on my shelves for forever. Long time. Yeah. There's always like more books that I want to read than I have time to read them. Uh, okay. So Lovesick Braves is book two. Okay. And we will read that in November if people want to join us. This one follows Esther and Theo. Oh, they're great. Yeah. That'll be fun. So, yes. Least favorite part of, I think we kind of talked about, <clears throat> I think we kind of covered that mostly. Um, it's mostly the toxic femininity for me that I was just like, this is just so, yeah. they're just so mean. Yeah. That's we need fair. women supporting other women. Agreed. Yeah. Regardless of their, uh, like, if they've had sex or not. Yeah. Like, just, I feel like it was not very sex positive. Yeah. Um, Beth, to answer your question, follow them on Twitter and check out the website is my recommendation. So yeah, Michelle and I, they canceled book Net fest very last minute. Um, but Michelle and I are still going to be down there for the weekend, which will be fun. Yes. Exciting. Yeah. Margaret I have, and I from the Word Nerd are planning on playing Magic the Gathering, so. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be the three of us and then it like staying together and then like I don't know who all is going to actually still be there. It's kind of like a 
Uh, Rachel from Reads with Rachel is. Gonna oh yeah, be there Rachel will be couple, there a couple of the days mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I wonder if Alexa Dunn is still going down there. I know she was originally, but I'm not sure what her plans are now. Yes, we'll see. I don't know. It's yeah, the first time going down there. So. Yeah. Either way, we'll have fun. We'll like we'll have to collaborate on some stuff. Definitely. Do like some videos so we all get. <laughs> we should do like a trivia content. game or something like that. That would be fun. Because I know yeah. there was that one where I, it was a really long time ago and it was based on like, I think it was back when that one series was super popular, but like they did like a thing about flashcards, about like trivia about the books themselves or something like that. But oh, cool. That'd be cool if we made like a, like a game or something that'd like that. That'd be fun. Yeah, that might be fun. Um, I do. Yeah, I have a few ideas. We'll have to, we'll talk. We'll. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my camera and we'll like do some stuff. It'll be fun. I'm also gonna bring my camera and my iPad. I'm mostly gonna be taking pictures. Nice. That would be fun. It's beautiful, like where we're staying. So, yeah, live show, Beth. Oh my gosh, I don't know how good the internet's gonna be. I will not have a computer. I will just have my cell phone, but maybe I don't, I, I feel like internet computer, like internet, sorry, internet, uh, I, my, where are my words? <laughs> Hotel Wi-Fi is usually potato. Not, yeah. It's potato usually quality. very, very bad. <laughs> so I would not count on a live show because I do, I doubt we will have enough bandwidth. <laughs> Since you want. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could do like an Instagram thing, <laughs> like Instagram live possibly. But yeah, I wouldn't expect one on YouTube given hotel internet quality. Potato. Yeah. But uh but like we we'll film some stuff and it'll be fun. Um, we'll have a couple people with us who have cars, so maybe we could go to a bookstore. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to go to a Barnes and Noble. Like there's just no yeah. Yeah. it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Um I think I think that's pretty much it. So it's been fun. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks, Michelle, who will ask It's been months. a good time. Thank you for yeah. Ask me to do this because this is yeah great. it's been really fun i'm glad we did it and uh we will be back in november to read lovesick braves if you want to join us and then we'll probably do another book in like february so keep an eye out we and, could do uh, like um or we switch off the series yeah i think that'd be fun we'll just do like we'll, we'll do these periodically it'll be it'll be good all right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. I hope you go read some of the books if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you. See you later. I will be back here tomorrow night. Uh, I have live shows like all week. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I will be here tomorrow night for... I'm so tired. I'm like, what, what even is life? Uh, Assassin's Quest is tomorrow night. And then... You're like, I promise I have it all together. Yeah, I know. There's thumbnails for all of them. Saturday at 2 p.m. is Blades and Bodice Rippers Book Club, um, which should be fun. And we read The Unbroken by Seal Clark. North African-inspired fantasy. Nice. Fun. And then Sunday I have my Patreon Book Club live show. If you're a patron, so. Dun, dun, dun. All right, that's it. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good weekend, and um, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.